Okay, let's get the party started. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? We are in hell today. I chased this guest down for seven years, and we finally found her. I'm so excited. This is where we talk to people about their demons, mm -hmm. their hell. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's going to crush it because she just dyed her hair pink. And she has so many. <laughs> <laughs> We're with Teffy Pessoa. Welcome to the dark depths of hell, bitch. I love it. I live here. I, I feel like we hit it off online like our energies were good. And yeah. I feel like I've met you before in a past life. Absolutely. I feel like sometimes when you're talking to somebody, like when you're talking to somebody and you haven't met them in real life yet, like there's a certain like exchange that has to happen for you to be like, it's like when you're dating, you know what I mean? Like you meet somebody and if they're like gift game is weird, mm. or like the meme game is weird, or if they don't get a reference. It's like one emoji and you're like, they don't get it. That's hell. They don't get me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to know, why did you dye your hair pink? Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah. So after I saved those children from that burning building. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, give me the thesis. So I had um, long, dark brown hair and um, it, I hadn't dyed it in like 10 years, but not because I was trying to keep it healthy. It's because I was poor. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. I was like, it's either this or lunch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm always going to go for I mean, the, the upkeep for this must be rent. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I had this like super long hair down to my fucking belly button. I look like Cousin It, truly. And uh, again, I did, didn't want to get my hair cut. Mm -hmm. And I kept getting like a blowout. Like I was starting to go to these events when the world started to open up again. And I'd go get a blowout and it would be beautiful. And I'd walk out the door and it'd just be flat again. And the hairstylists were always like, it's just that your hair is so healthy and <laughs> heavy that it'll never hold a style. And I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm like, what the fuck is this for? What the fuck is this for? So I was like, fuck it. If I'm going to fry it, I'm going to fry the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to be pink. So I went to the salon and I was going to Basel the next day and it was my friend because I, I knew I could only take advantage of a friend like this. Yes, <laughs> like, no, yes. but yeah, I feel like other people yes. would be like, I'm not going to do this to Absolutely your beautiful not. purebed hair. And I said, oh, I want to dye it a color or whatever. She's like, okay, come in. And I get there. I'm like, I'm going to Basel tomorrow and I want pink hair. And she goes, where? And I said, oh, sweetheart. Sweetie. That was her hell. <laughs> I was there for 13 hours. You know, it's crazy. I was like, I'll order you lunch. I got her a pie, a big pie of pizza. And they got the order wrong. They brought one slice, one little slice. I was like, it was her hell. Was she her was hell. hangry and ruining your hair. She got a little sassy at the end. It was 1 a.m. Oh, yeah. I could, <laughs> she got a little She's sassy like, at the, the very end. end, the last three minutes, she I, was like, this is fucked up. I was like, I've been perfectly pleasant. I've only vaped four times. I asked you I asked you if anything had happened in your personal life mm -hmm. or that caused you to dye your hair because that's what you do. You, you check if your friends are okay when this right. kind of drastic change happens to their, their outside external person. When I went to college... I cut my hair short to try to be different. How'd it go? I felt like a little teenage boy. So, so that's then I, different. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then I go, I'm going to bleach it blondes at, for $30 at, an, at a student run a Vita. That's. And the girl literally looked at me. And she said, I'm not doing this to your hair. And I said, bitch, look you me said in the pussy. eye. <laughs> Don't be a pussy ass Don't bitch. Pussy. This is your Super Bowl. Yeah. This is your time to shine. Are you gonna and rock she it? did not shine. She did not shine. I did not shine. Nobody shined that day. What did you do? It it was, I mean, you don't just, it was horrible. It was horrible. And it got to the point where people, you'd see your friends in the hallway and they would have to quadruple take because they were like, what happened to you? And I kept my eyebrows this dark. So I looked like Gwen Stefani um, if she works at a Walmart. Gwen Stefani was my inspo for this, for sure. Well, Gwen Stefani this, is, should be everyone's inspo. Yeah, but she's also the one that said in an interview in Teen Vogue in 2004, I'm sick. You're, uh, you, I'm sick. You're a genius. <laughs> I always tell, I tell people You're like- You're a niche genius. What could have gone in that place? Could have been, I don't know, counting? <laughs> like, uh, what could have gone Understanding in that place? Understanding taxes. Credit. Mm. I, Mortgages. I, I was talking about it yesterday too. Like I was like, uh, when I checked my credit score, I, have, I had to go uh, get an apartment for the first time. I was like, oh my God, 500 points? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, oh my God. Are you smart with everything? Or are you like obsessed with pop culture? Sweetheart. <laughs> no, no, no. Because no. I'm like, do you just suck in these kinds of data points in every type of thing? Or does your brain just... I feel like I'm the kind of person where like if we meet and like I have a conversation with you, the next time I see you, I'll be like, how was your daughter's gymnastics oh. competition? Like I love picking pieces 
if people, I feel like I really want people to feel like safe and understood all the time. Yeah. Because everything else is just a fucking landmine. You're a sensitive soul. I'm a sensi. I'm a sensi girl. Are you, are you a cancer? I'm a cancer. Yeah, I was just watching your TikTok. <laughs> I love Big a woman. Big cancer. Yes. But I, I love a cancer woman. Don't love a cancer man. Not going to get into it. Um, if if their home life is not together, I, I have trouble. No, with no, it. no. Cancer men should absolutely be put on a block of ice and then pushed out, <laughs> left to survive. You oh think you God, know I, everything? I wish now you go. told me that at twenty five. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I thought this was a wig that you were pulling Everybody off. Everybody did. People have tried to take off my hair. <gasps> yeah. Bar yeah. fight? No. Like <laughs> I'll be at a bar where they're serving alcohol, so I understand. Yeah. Yes. And girls will come up to me and be like, is it a wig? And as I'm answering, they're like this. I'm calling small And I'm, I look at them and I'm like, listen, you're 21 mm -hmm. and you're in a bar. So I know you don't know how to not <laughs> overdo it yet. But you're going to remember this tomorrow. You're going to remember this tomorrow and you're going to want to die. And that's punishment enough. But this was not just like a little phase. Like you've actually sustained it and kept yeah. it. And it's become. I'm in. Do you. F yeah. Like how, how's your identity? How's this Teffy different than black haired Teffy or dark haired Teffy. It's the same thing that I say when I, every time I like my Botox kicks in or mm -hmm. I get filler, I'm like, I don't know who she is, but I like her. Mm. Like I look in the mirror, I'm like, that's not me, but she's cute. So I feel like for me, it's like, you know when Miley Cyrus cut her hair and she's like, my outside finally matches my inside, even though it was horrendous, it was so bad. Yeah. That haircut. Yeah. That's what I thought. Was that the info? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, you know who was? Alexa Chung. You remember back in the day? I literally talked about her today. People don't talk enough about Alexa Chung. News TV. Her talk show. Oh my God. I loved it. I loved it too, but I also love that she was just so skinny. I remember just, Alexa Chung was like, I'm not stylish. I just got money. And I, I, I remember that. Well, it's hard for me too because I look at an outfit and I'm like, is it cute or is she thin? True, valid. If I put on a baby baby doll dress with a little farmer bow on top, you're gonna tell me I'd hit it that like that's gonna hit the way it hits for her? Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking we're, not. We were talking about earlier, dress for your body, long torso, wear those high waisted pants. Um True. So I dress for the weather I want, not the job. Fuck it. Yeah. I dress for the weather I want. People well, you're creating your own jobs. Yeah, I am. I am. I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but I'm having a good time. But I have to say, your pink hair is so fun, mm -hmm. but it wasn't what made you you. Like, no. people were Teffy stands before the pink right. hair. The pink hair, they weren't expecting. No. You just, it was, an, it was no. a, like, cherry on top of the sundae. People saw me with the, with the brown hair. They saw me as this, like, dark-haired, like, Penelope Cruz. Mm. I was going to say, they took me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Do you get different attention from men? Uh, no. Okay. I actually don't get attention from men and it's driving me absolutely in fucking insane sometimes because I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm like one centimeter away from showing you my uvula in this photo. But it's like two What do you think about her with pink hair? Would you hit on her in a bar? Yes. But are you like, I knew there was are you more open minded than the average dude? Like you think this would scare like a basic dude? Yeah, they definitely, I definitely scare people. I know that I scare people. Bushwick. Bushwick. I am out in the wick. It's true. <laughs> Mood ring, stand up. Like I do think some guys who are simpletons might see that and be like, "Oh, she's probably so complex and and has all these other mm -hmm. things." When it's 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 a lot. I mean, you are, but well, I feel like also sometimes people feel like like men are like brave to speak to me, like like stand back, boys. Yeah, I'll do it. And I turn around, I'm like, "Oh my god, I love your outfit!" Like I'm just like a normal. Yeah, I know this is crazy, but I'm like a normal person. I think it's when when I'm go when I'm out with people and people come up to me. That's when people are like more scared of me. It's less the pink hair. I feel like in the pink hair, they think they're smarter than me. Mm. Sometimes, <laughs> like you're an art project that got, yeah, went yeah, wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, but I don't feel. I feel like with um. Dark hair, I, people thought I was Penelope Cruz. Yes. And then now with pink hair, people think I'm bad with money. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is fourth wave feminism where like, before women had to prove that they're smart and they're not dumb. And you've gone so far to be like, I can look dumb because everyone knows that, I, or I know I'm smart. Yeah. And I don't have to like yeah, yeah. get people's respect. But I've been following you and your TikTok for a while where you talk about celebrity culture. I do. And you are so immersed in it and you're amazing at it. Mm -hmm. And you're really, really fucking good at it. Thank you. And you have a hosting natural ability. Mm -hmm. But now you're kind of becoming your own kind of celebrity. Has that affected how you think 
how you speak about celebrities. What? <laughs> like the other day. So like your aspirational within yourself. My aspiration within myself is to just be professionally myself at all times. You know, um, like so when people ask me what I do, I'm like, I talk to people and I've always wanted to be paid to be myself. Oh, I love that. So far, so good. Oh, I, I of that. course have interest. You don't think I want to be a little fucking ham like me and Meryl chopping mm -hmm. it up? Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I could do Lindsay Lohan in Georgia Rule. Mm -hmm. Like if you're mean to me, I'll fuck your boyfriend. You don't think I'd love that fucking line? I love that. Jennifer's body. Yeah. Have you guys been fucking? It smells like Thai food in here. Like tattooed on my fucking forehead. I love that shit. Of course I wanted to get into scripted stuff and that'd be so sick. Am I good at it? I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. And well, you're on doing these like interviews at all these big mm -hmm. movie premieres. Right. Are you manifesting being on the other side of that or do you really like the hosting gig? I feel like sometimes I imagine it like I, like two days ago I was. And I imagine it and it's weird for me because something that worries me, I feel like that little girl in Grey's Anatomy that couldn't feel pain, mm. I never get nervous. And sometimes I should be because nervous lets you know I never get nervous. Okay. Or your body's telling you this is home. Right. So, I, but a part of me is like, okay. It's like when people are like manifesting being a bodybuilder, like you still have to go to the gym. Yeah. So of course, at some point I would love to be recognized in a way where it's more of a like, like something small, like an iconic legendary status is what we all want to do. <laughs> I want my kids to be like, that's my something fucking Something tiny, mom. but something like changing mom, the world. Mom. Like, I don't know. Um, an Oscar, who would, do you think I'm going to get nominated for an Oscar? I'm going to say, no, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, mm -hmm. I'm showing up with a feather boa. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there are sides of me now where it's hard. Some Like recently, somebody was in my comment section and you know, we always get that like one or two that just like respond to every single comment because they're mad. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I've, recently it's because I said the stock market wasn't real. It's absolutely made the fuck up. You just choose to play. <laughs> Absol like, my mom works in investment oh banking. God. Like, it's absolutely fucking made up. I was joking that the stock market and, like, NFTs and Bitcoin are, like, LuLaRoe for men. Lit literally, um, I, I imagine, like, the ticket raffles in an arcade and then you go get the bike. Yeah. Like, that's what I imagine. And it's, they get so... It's multi-level marketing to an extent. <laughs> It's Tupperware for men. Absolutely. It's Monet shampoo. <laughs> Absolutely. And we don't even know if it works or it'll make you bald. Same fucking thing. So this person's arguing so with So this you. person's <laughs> arguing with me and it's about celebrity culture, right? And I think this was like my, what's the last one that I did? Was it Tiger? No? It was Tiger. And they were like, um, who are you to uh, dive into people's lives? Um, and then what if somebody made a series about you? And then somebody commented saying, which I know they meant it with love, but they were like, why would someone do that? <laughs> and they're like, because she's a celebrity. And that, and I looked at that and I responded to it and I was like, I know you're here to hurt. Like, oh my God. Like, who, who do I look like? Angelina Jolie in the right line. <laughs> in the right line. In the right line. So you know? have... What were you doing before this? Like, where was Teffy when she I graduated was such college? Such a graduated. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I dropped out of college four times. I really, I really. Oh, was so you like, committed to? I, I committed to dropping out. Mm -hmm, the thrill of it all, like toxic <laughs> relationships. Like maybe this will work. Why like, do I find like there's always like beautiful, successful people who did not fuck with college? I just couldn't. I truly could not handle the freedom of it. I I am someone who I need structure and people think that I'm all loosey goosey mm -hmm. and that I like smoke weed all day. First of all, I only smoke weed when I'm trying to, I don't know, visit Mount Sinai. Mm. I never, never smoke. People think I'm like acid and like a uh, lava lamp and um, I no, I need order. Like I need uh, stability. I need structure. I need mm. routine. I love routine. I just told you I only eat turkey veggie wraps I'm yeah. I, because it's comfortable. You know yes. what I mean? And a smoothie. Yes. A green smoothie. Obviously. I got, I got Hydration is Thank important. You. And uh, so when it came to college, people just being like, okay, well, that's your responsibility. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? And then also it's like the idea of like, they won't call my mom. If I fuck up, they won't call my mom. And I had worked so hard in high school that I burned myself out and I just couldn't do it. And I really wanted to pursue something creative, but I come from a family that, I mean, I think just in general, parents want you to do well and to be able to afford food. So mm -hmm. maybe something creative isn't the best way to go. Yep. So I wanted to do something creative, but I just, I was scared that I was going to be 
like starving or I wouldn't, I would never be able to leave my house or like, I don't, I'd live with my mom. I would live with my mom right now. Rent is due. Mm -hmm. But like, we love mom. Time, shout out to mom. Shout out to mom. MJ, mm -hmm. you don't, you're the real one. Oh, yeah. Um, but so when it came to getting jobs, I led the job interview as if they were doing me a favor all the time. Like I had so many skills. You know what my, um, I don't know if it's a guidance counselor. I don't know if that's what they call it in mm -hmm. college. That's mm -hmm. how long I was there. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a counselor. Like a counselor, mm -hmm. right? Um, they were like, you have enough credit to get two degrees. You just haven't stayed long enough in one. I was like, why the fuck would you say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you've wasted all your time and money in the most stupid way possible. Literally. But he said something to me like, um, so even though you're not choosing um, like the education route or whatever, you have skills. And I just, I didn't believe it. So I would go to these job interviews. So I was always getting paid like the lowest of the low. What um, kind of jobs? I was a receptionist. Um, I mean, I was like a social media manager. I was mm -hmm. a receptionist. I was a greeter. <laughs> I was a receptionist. Like all these things. But at the end of the day, I was administrative and like bottom of the barrel. But then people would hear me speak and I would have ideas mm -hmm. and they'd bring me into meetings. Mm -hmm. And they would hear me out and they would help, they would uh, make me help them with like the marketing of it, like an idea here and then send me back to my desk in the front. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was fucked up, but I started giving and I was, I thought they were doing me this favor, you yeah. know? And then as I got older, I started working around these people who were creative. I worked in production houses, right? Yeah. And they're directors and photographers and wardrobe stylists and all these people that like, if you didn't fuck with their vision, don't hire me. And I was like, that's super dope that they stand like within their own identity. And they're like this, if you hired me for my skill set and you don't want to use my skill set or my ideas, why the fuck did you hire me? I'd rather not take the job and be attached to this project. Mm. And I was like, that's fucking sick. And when you're around confident people like that who are like, what do you want to do? And you're like, I don't know. And they're like, no, tell me what the fuck you want to do. And let me see if I can help you. I'll have these connects. To have people around you be confident and tell you that you're smart is as a, as a kid when you don't know if you're smart or whatever, like it really changed my life. So I started talking more and more. And what do I know? 2019, Britney Spears. I started to crack the case. I was in that bitch. Like the fucking Spy Kids gif. With the, 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 the. Wait, is this how like- That's you, how I started. You started? Did you have like a weird obsession to it or did you like why were you so obsessed with it well i grew up listening to britney spears mm -hmm. and britney spears is my fucking girl mm -hmm. like when her album came out in 1999 i went to virgin records to go pick it up <gasps> and <laughs> when i was having a bad day i had my little sony uh gray stereo by yep. my bed and i would play it to sleep and it would go all fucking night. So she helped you. She with your comfort life. that when you're a little She's your girl celebrity. and you're so excited to go to high school and be blonde and thin. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. But, like, but you know what I mean? Like so you go <laughs> and like get a get a layered haircut. Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um like she really helped me like feel like everything is gonna be exciting. You know what I mean? Like the boys, the breakups, like when yeah. we watch like TV and you're like, every high school has a locker. Mine didn't. That was terrible yeah. for me. I'm like, yeah. how the fuck is somebody gonna leave me love notes? Your whole aesthetic. I don't know. So when when Britney's when I somebody called called into a podcast and said she's being held against her will. I said, I don't know who you are or where you are, but I'm going to fucking find you. And so I started Googling, 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 and I got into like public records. I don't know how the fuck, I could barely figure out how to get, how to log into like find my dental insurance card. Mm -hmm. I know I pay for it, mm -hmm. but like there's- We <laughs> just don't know how. Absolutely. I admin, think it's I don't up. fuck with admin. I don't fuck yeah. <laughs> truly, but I got into it and I started yeah. reading things and I started researching the people that were around her and I was like, where the fuck is Larry Rudolph, her OG manager? This reminds me of the documentary Don't Fuck With Cats, except don't fuck with Britney Spears. And you're Literally. like that woman who's in the documentary being like, there's something fucked up here and I'm gonna find it. Once I found out that her OG assistant and like family friend, what the fuck is her name? I love oh, her. She, yeah, she was great. I see her face. It's like mm -hmm. the face of kindness and joy. Yes, yeah, she has like um, curly hair. Yeah, um, long, brown. Supportive. She's, like, she's talks Loving. like this. Yep. I love her. And when I found out that she was no longer part of the team, I said, they've gone rogue. They've gone rogue. And I started looking at like social media posts and I was looking at old captions. I'm like, somebody else is writing. I, I, I remember making a story like somebody else is writing these guys. What sucks though is... The people that worked at the place I worked at also followed me. So they were like, 
why are you doing this at the desk? And I'm like, a woman needs our help. Yeah. Was this on Instagram that you were doing all yeah. this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To my, I don't know, 500 followers. Did you get fired? No, no, no. They okay. thought it was hilarious. Okay. So, so they love, they, that company supported me so much, like Dune Studios. There's a, the owner, Jay, he is Canadian. He lives in Toronto, but he flies into New York every day. I, he's just the funniest what? motherfucker. What? He's a Gemini. I love him. I would die for him. He loved me so much. He owned the company, like yeah. Dune Studios owner. All these employees, like 500 to 1,000 employees. And he loved me so much that I went up to him and I said, I have a really big problem because I have an, audi an audition for this YouTube show and no one can cover me. And he said, I'll cover you. He was the owner and he sat at the reception. Shut he uh, sat at the reception and answered calls for me. And you might potentially get a different job and like leave his company. Leave his company. Yeah. He was like, you don't belong here. Like you need to go. He was the owner. I came back and he was wrapped up in wires. And I was like, I told you, I told you we had to go wireless. <laughs> you fucked up my whole system. I know. And he's like, why is Netflix open on the desktop? I'm like, why are you snooping through my things? <laughs> like, it's called no. research about Literally. pop culture, motherfucker. He's We're like, in a production company. He's like, who gave you access to my iTunes? Every single <laughs> Britney Spears album has been downloaded. And I was like, I was worried that you hadn't, didn't have them. I was worried you didn't have them. But that's how, like, so being around people who like see you and aren't, mm. there are people in your life that like that you don't know who you are because you have potential to be the main character. And if, you are that uh, like big of an energy and you're their supporting character, that makes them feel good. You know what I mean? Like it's your hot air, but it's their balloon. So, but to be around people who are like, no, like you, like you should be like, um, like uh, focus on your own cup, you know, like refilling your own cup. That's like life changing. But I think at that time in my life, if it had happened before, I wouldn't have been ready. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To believe in yourself, to really listen yeah. to them and know where to take it. I love what you just said because um, Chris Jenner has been going around with heard of her. the speech <laughs> about <laughs> wise woman mm -hmm. about how you surround yourself with certain people and it affects you. I don't think she was referring to OJ back in the day, but I think like her group of people. The juice? Mm -hmm. The juice, yeah. But I, I realize now you... Your storyline of yourself is sometimes a mirror of the people that are around you. Thousand percent. So like I, because I feel like we're similar where I can only be myself when I'm in the wrong situation or friend group, I will be deported from it. Mm -hmm. Like the universe will be like, get the fuck mm -hmm. out. And then it's like surfing where when you find the right group or the right scene or the right energies, you will just flow and you'll be like, holy shit, I thought I didn't know how to swim and now I'm surfing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a lot of metaphors. That was beautiful. Thank you. I was like, I felt myself on the wave. <laughs> we were California girls for a second. Did just you see vibing. That? Um, you also went viral. In the most funny way, I mean, in multiple ways, mm -hmm. but my specific fun mm -hmm. memory is you were doing the Dune premiere, mm -hmm. not connected to the Dune Studios. No. Oh, my God. But we love the synergy of it. Look at that. Okay. Uh-huh. And you showed up in this dress that looked gorgeous. You find out after there was a hole in it and you were supposed to put your leg through it and you didn't. You wore the dress completely wrong mm -hmm. and you were able to- Completely. The arms were in the holes. Laugh <laughs> at yourself. But you also look so hot with it the wrong way. Low key, I was like, honestly, she pulled it off better the other I, way. Well, let me tell you, I was serving that little leg to the side every moment I could. I was like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, the bitches never saw a dress like this. And they hadn't because it was not meant to be like that. And that went viral. Like mm -hmm. everyone was looking at it. <laughs> in the, but in the way where I think people are like, this girl mm -hmm. is so confident and relatable and also able to laugh at herself, which isn't always on the internet. Right. I feel like, so <laughs> that weekend was insane to me. It was insane. It, it, like not to me. It was insane for me. Mm -hmm. I was I left uh, New York for a week to do something in LA for TikTok and they kept me an extra day. And my plan was that that day that they kept me, I was supposed to go to London and I was going to go to this like little, very small indie shop that I love called Thara. Mm -hmm. And I was going to get something super cheap, like 38 bucks and just go because who fucking cares? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, they kept me an extra day. So I was like, fuck, I'm going to get there on Sunday at like 5 p.m everything's gonna be fucking closed. So I don't have any clothes. So at the time, I, like my assistant at the time, I, I text, I WhatsApped her, because mm -hmm. that's what trendy people do now. <laughs> Everyone's all Euro, I see people leaving voice notes. I'm like, grow up, <laughs> okay? So um, I messaged her and I was like, I need an outfit. Like I need clothes. 
and I don't have time because tomorrow I have rehearsal all day mm -hmm. from like nine and you're with the team all day, mm -hmm. you know? And also you think I'm gonna leave Jason Momoa to go to Thada? I'm fucking, I'm, <laughs> babe, you gotta get me some clothes. So <laughs> please. Is he as hot Dude, in real life? No, you know what fucking kills me it is, it's not a, it's not a front. He loves his children so much that even oh. off camera, he's like, man, my kids are gonna be so fucking proud of me. And I'm looking oh. at him and I'm like, enter me. <laughs> he, he's, I feel like, and he's funny too. No, and he he also is shy. Like oh. he, he like the way that he like looks, like he's just, he's a normal dude. I know it's crazy, but like to say, because of course he's a normal dude. But he got famous late. He got fam, but, uh, God, he's hot though. <laughs> He's he's back together with his wife. Wife. But then yesterday he did a caption that was weird. He said he made a caption with his kids at the uh, Batman premiere. It's mm -hmm. weird because I was there and he didn't ask for me, so I was like, "That's crazy weird for me." Weird. Like, what are we? Mm -hmm. And um, but he said, "Thank you for all the kindness. Um, separating private is hard, and public is even harder." Mm. So I'm like, "You're giving me mixed signals." I've I've also like I've DM'd him, I'm friendly, not sexual, because mm -hmm. I'm not a monster, mm -hmm. like. To be honest, I'd rather be with Lisa. <laughs> well, I know that it's, you get very confused when she's, you look at them. She's very kumbaya. I don't know if she would like be able to handle like me eating maybe like a red need. steak and a vape like maybe at dinner. Maybe it's what I need. <laughs> but sometimes now I have COVID um, uh, PTSD that when I say, when I see kumbaya, I'm mm -hmm. like, are you vaccinated? Yeah. Yeah, I get like, it. So I look at Lisa and I'm like, you're so fucking cool. You're iconic. I would literally pay you to punch me in the fucking face. Yes. But why aren't you going to events? Interesting. You know what I mean? I'm like, are you well, I feel like a bunch of marriages have fell apart during BLM, during Trump era, during like all these things that like politically you can't ignore. Dude, Shailene Woodley, me and Aaron Rodgers are working on understanding our political differences. But I feel like she's woo woo. Uh, yeah, so he must be. He's woo woo. He's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not vaccinated. So he's not. So she's definitely like, hey, People matter. Yes. And he is like, racism isn't real. <laughs> like, definitely, like, definitely. I don't, like, I'm not trying to be mean, I but. Love how I'm, I want to, like, rip you apart and get to your demons, but I'm also like, wait, well, what do you think about the celebrity couple? <laughs> I mean, they broke up. Yeah. They broke up. And they, yeah. right after they said that they were open minded about open relationships, meaning, She's like, a threesome would be cool. And he's like, oh, well, either way, I'm going to fuck other people. That's how I fucking oh, heard it. She said it. She but, said it. But about the dress, whatever, basically, yeah. I, it was late. It was a one minute, like one minute to the carpet. I put it on and I was with my manager and I looked at her. My makeup was already done and my hair was done. I looked at her and I said, oh, my God, look how retro, like Austin Powers. And she said, oh, my God, I love it. Very 60s. I'm like, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And when I'm on the carpet, I'm about to interview. I think it was like Zendaya. And she's coming. You're like looking at. I spit on this fucking mic. It's moist. Oh, droplet, droplet alert. I got a little droplet. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm about to, and I, my, but not my. Well, she is my friend. But a TikTok rep. When you go and do things, they want to make sure that their TikTok creators are being taken care of, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if Instagram could just hear me out, <laughs> that'd be nice. But so um, she's like showing me my phone, and she's like, "You have 46 WhatsApps," and I was like, "Oh, that's my mom." She's like, "It's not your mom." And I was like, what? And she's like, it, uh, it's somebody else. So I take my phone and in my mind, I was like, oh my God, my news leaked. <laughs> Everybody's not going again. crazy because they're hot. <laughs> oh my God, not Playboy reaching out. <laughs> so, but then it said, it was all from my assistant at the time saying, for the love of Christ, put your legs through the fucking hole. And I look up. And everybody's there and they're like, your turn. Like, we got to, you got to interview Zendaya and then you got to get on stage and say bye to everybody who's watching. And I go, how many people are watching? They're like, it's up to 40K. And I said, oh, fuck my fucking life. <laughs> so I get into the Uber quiet like this. <laughs> and a part of me is like, just put your legs to the fucking hole. Like when I'm on stage, like before yeah. I go on stage, yeah. put your legs to the fucking hole. No. And then I'm like, no, because then they'll know you fucked up. That's like when you're, that's like walking and being like, do I just turn around right now because I'm going the wrong direction or do I cross the street and then go? You know, you can't admit. No, no, no. I always say, how could he tell me up? to go this way? That's <laughs> what I say. How could he tell me to go this way? So you own it. I owned it. And then when I got to my hotel room, I was so worried that they were going to be me because my assistant put all this like the put it together. I literally was about to leave and the, the messenger threw me the dress mm -hmm. like it was down and she she made it work. I didn't want them to be mad at her. 
So I was like, let me make a video. Mm -hmm. It'll get 10,000 views. Mm -hmm. And so that they know when they watch and I tag them that it's not her fault, that mm -hmm. it was me, that I was in a rush, that I poor, that my poor planning was not her fault. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I woke up and I was like, why does this have, <laughs> why is German news emailing me? Like that was, and so I opened it and I closed it. And I said, I can't believe I'm having a stroke at 31. <laughs> I can't believe it. But yeah, it was great. And I feel like I didn't get any negative. I didn't get, that was, that's the only video I've ever made that nobody said anything mean. <laughs> no one said anything mean. At all the thousands of comments, everybody was like, amazing. The next one, what's up, you stupid fucking bitch? I thought I fucking forgot about you. Moly. <laughs> Guacamole. Moly. I'm like, I, you, think, you, you think that's going to hurt me? I was in the theater for that Austin Powers movie. You know, it's like for everybody that you're with to slowly turn to you and you're like. <laughs> Wait, your, your mole is like beautifully it's placed. Me. I do have to say it's very beautifully placed. How were you always this confident? <laughs> Are you just always just confident that in front of Zendaya, you could just rock a dress that isn't worn the right way? With, oh, if with, you look at the video, my knees are a little tucked in. I'm like a little <laughs> bow-legged. I'm like, <laughs> like fuck my life. But you know, I thought it was weird because every time I walk, you could see a little bit of my panty. And I said, that's a little too sexy for me. Like there's a video of me walking. You see a little panty. It's because my... <laughs> the thing is, I thought it was iconic and I didn't... I saw someone... They look like they were like tripping in their dress when they put it through the also, hole. Also, like I'm a Latin woman. Why would I want to sausage link my thigh? No. Why would I want to do that? No. I could own it. I wouldn't like it. But bitch, you did a TED talk about confidence. I did. I did. How did you get to that point? Well, I think it's just like you have to, I, I mean, you know, like in relationships, they're always like you have to choose one another. Mm -hmm. So you like, you got to choose, like you got to choose. So there are obviously things I'm never going to like about myself. And I'm like, I'm always, well, not never, but there are things where I have to like look at myself and you're like, Tuffy, chill. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. relax. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean like, hello, uh, sometimes I'll be in a group of people. Ugh, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> sometimes I'll be in a group of people. It happened last night. <laughs> and like, you'll say a joke and people keep talking and then you repeat it. They're like, we heard you. And you're like, <laughs> like those moments like you want to go in the mirror and be like like you are beautiful <laughs> like the mascara and you're like you're such a fucking loser why do you go outside bro so there are of course those moments and then of course being a woman like <laughs> unfortunately I have like um and like 99% of women cellulite mm -hmm. and the idea that like I could get rid of that was like insane the words thigh gap ruined my life mm -hmm. because Y2K Y2K was the accessory was the body not the clothes or the mm -hmm. purses whatever so people were like why can't you remember anything from school I was too busy trying to get protruding hip bones I was mm -hmm. working my ass off mm -hmm. for it to last like a month and then you know like my body um, I became like a woman mm -hmm. A woman. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I sing the Doja Cat song. Yes. Woman, 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 woman. woman, woman, woman. woman. <laughs> Your thigh gap is so fucked up. I'm like, look, if you want thigh gap, you man spread. You'd make it mm -hmm. powerful. You do. Because I was quadzilla in college. I was a tennis player and I would run and I would start fucking fire with my thighs. Right. And that was a very empowering feeling mm -hmm. that if you have a thigh gap, you can't Not experience. only may I, can I give life, <laughs> but I make fire. Like, so, like, this is my sister, third best prostitute in Kazakhstan. And this is, okay, whatever. But, uh, also, Ali Wong would say that you can crush a man's skull with strong thighs. That's true. With a true. thigh gap, it's way harder. If I would use strong thighs for anything, it'd be that. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand percent. But, like, so, I think it just got to the point where I was, I was terribly insecure. I was around people. When you are needy, you see out people that are scarce to give out their validation because you're trying to prove to yourself mm. that you are worthy. So you attract these people that don't that don't share your love language and you're trying to show people how to love you all the time mm. and then they don't because that's just not who the fuck they are and you're trying to force it all the time you're trying to force and then you feel responsible for them liking you so the moment you like disappoint them or get into a fight which is normal in any platonic relationship r romantic relationship you feel like you have failed in some way so i was constantly like, failing at pleasing these people that didn't even fucking like me and they didn't like me because the world is your fucking mirror and if you don't like you you're gonna attract people that don't fucking like you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or only like, or if you feel like you're only likable when you're entertaining, you're going to attract people who only like you when you're entertaining them. Ooh. So I was doing that over and over. And I just got to the point where I was on my rue shit for real, mm -hmm. my euphoria rue shit. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, 
I'm so fucking tired of being sad. It was like eating the same food every day. I mean, I love the, I told you. We love turkey the wraps. turkey wraps. I do. I'm never going to tie it on them. That's but my, men are not. That's my baby. That's no. good as turkey wraps. Or friends too. Like, yeah. um, like I remember being left at a bar by people and me being like, why are you guys? And like, we left. I'm like, I'm with people that don't fucking care if I live or die, like literally. Yeah. So I could, anything could have happened to me and be like, oh, let's just tell Teffy that we're leaving so that she, like nothing. And I remember like looking at myself and being like, what if I just decided? Like, you know, in A Beautiful Mind, how like he pretends, like not pretends, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mental illness, He's schizophrenic and yeah. he imagines these people, right? I was like, what if I just imagined me being the best version of myself? Because I was so sick of it. I was, so, if, when you don't have boundaries and when you don't have standards, you fucking, it's like leaving your house door open for like bird, like enchanted with the birds and the cockroaches. You mm -hmm, know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. when they all come? Yeah. Like you, and I'm, I felt like, I felt like I was absorbing all the time how much people didn't like me. I was absorbing it all the time because I absorb your energy, you know? And then I have, I carry it home with me mm -hmm. and I think about it and I like uh, ruminate on it. And then I just one day like decided, I was like, if I woke up, like if I was that if I was that girl, right? If mm -hmm. I was that girl that woke up at fuck it, seven, eight, eight a.m., mm -hmm. seven, please. Let's not be aggressive. Please, please. Um, we can we can achieve, but that's not over. Yeah. Do ours. Okay. Yeah. Eight a.m. goes for a run, drink like drinks a green smoothie, takes care of herself, writes on the to-do list, um, only like drinks like once a week. Like somebody like balance. If I pretended to be her for two weeks, how long would it be? And I love her already. Mm -hmm. How long would it take for me to actually like be her? And I realized I've been pretending to be here for so long that I think I just, I really like me. And when I started to say out loud, I really like me, I've always had the same friends, but because I was chasing these new friends, I neglected those relationships. I was able to tap back into like my real core group of friends that I've had since elementary, middle and high school. Mm -hmm. And I was able to meet people who respected me that wanted to like take me out or heard me or came to me for advice. That was new to me. People were like, they were, they looked at me like, like, why would I get advice from her? You know what I mean? Um, and now I'm like, you, you know what? I went through all of that. So God forbid you or my friend's kids or my, or my own kids or my sister's kids, whatever, somebody, or even my friend acquaintance, they come up to me like, yo, X, Y, Z happened to me. I can say, all right, this is what we're going to do. I got the game plan. So I have to believe that my hurt has to help in yes. order for me to be able to live with myself. And I also have to accept that in some people's stories of, from the past, I'm the bad guy. And if they need that to survive, I'm fine with that. But leave me alone. That reminds me of a TikTok where it says finding peace with being misunderstood. Yeah. And that's almost like you being like, I'm okay. If even though I didn't want to be that, that people think of me like mm -hmm. that. How did you do that? They have to misunderstand you so that they can survive. Some people cannot face that they fucked up or that they fucked up with you. Some people have to be the one that got away. Like, like I have friends in Miami that I know they probably never want to see my face. And I look back and I'm like, you hurt me. And you need to be the hurt one mm -hmm. so that you can say. Yeah, I dealt with that a very public um friend group on reality tv well i missed so it i understand so fuck up. Uh, no i so i understand <laughs> i understand exactly what you're saying i also think when you said like i wanted to be that girl if you can't visualize it it's not going to happen so even though it might have seemed like really far away at the time the fact you even visualized who you want to be mm -hmm. is the first step to yeah. making it happen because if you're just like i want to be better eh, who knows where you're going to be but if you really fucking imagine who you are like i feel like some of the best people like i always think like rihanna I think Me too, when I think I, of good people. The best people, Rihanna. Yeah, Rihanna. I think she knew this was going to happen. I think from a young age, she was like, I'm going to be a superstar singer and I'm going to be like a crazy great entrepreneur. You have to see it. It doesn't just happen. Dude, I was watching the Inside the Actors Studio one day one in dies. high school when I was pretending to be sick. Yeah. <laughs> and um, this guy, Jay Leno, was on it and... It, they opened the floor for questions and this college student stood up. It was like at Pace, I think, at Pace University. I think that's where this, whatever. And he stands up and he's like, how do I get to be you? And Jay Leno said something that immediately I started practicing my Emmy speech. He, he looked at the kid and he's like, be honest. Do you look at me and think I could do what he could do, but better? 
And the kid's like, no. He's like, be honest. And he's like, yes. And I'm like, as long as you think that and as long as you work towards it, that's it. And I heard that and I was like, and here I am thinking I'm going to be the best uh, Pam in all the land. Mm -hmm. Like Pam, like in the office. Like mm -hmm. I'm going to be the best Aaron. I'm going to be this. You know what I mean? And and I know that I'm capable. And you know as a person, like a creative person or somebody that wants to be in the public eye, you know you want to be seen. Mm -hmm. You know you want to be heard. And that that's okay. And And that's the only thing that you can do. Like everything else will never align with that moment where you know you're being heard and you're being seen and you're being valued for it because you're good at it because you're born to do it. You know what I mean? Oof, I feel that in my heart. And that's why Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> and back to the baby of Rihanna who will be born and take over the world. But that's the thing. Like if you decide, like when people say like you have to choose happiness or like you have to choose, you have to choose your life. When I tell you that so many people have convinced themselves that they're just living the life that they were given. I'm like, if you just chose, yes. if you chose to break up with him, if you chose to leave that friend group, if you chose to look at them and be like, go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. If you chose to do better, if you chose, if you chose to wake up earlier, if you chose to go to sleep, if you chose to say no, no is a full sentence, you know, it would be better, but you don't want to, to, to not anger or annoy the people that don't even fucking like you. That's fucking powerful. Rock and roll. That's really fucking powerful. And I also think that a lot of those with the news, they're like, oh, this person just became famous or like newcomer. And it's like, they didn't just get hit by a piano. I've been in the and mud. No. And that's why these people can't be like, oh, either an agent's going to find me one day or not. It's like Esther Pavitsky was just on my pod and she said like, between you and your goal is a hundred annoying things that you have to do that other people don't want to do. Oh, they don't. You know what I was talking about in my mind <laughs> to myself? <laughs> <laughs> to I my shampoo bottle. We don't remember all the cringe worthy, <laughs> prideless promo shit Kim Kardashian did. I remember seeing her face on the ugliest gin mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Minari, Minari. Do you remember that gin? <laughs> exactly. I remember her doing weird ass fashion shows. I remember people like hearing the live stream of red carpet saying, "Kim Kardashian, this is Kim Kardashian and people saying, who? Mm -hmm. Who is that? In 2007, I remember the Spider-Man premiere. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I remember that, but she was wearing a strapless purple dress. And it's one of my first like Kim Kardashian memories. And I remember thinking, who the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. This girl that went on a date with Nick Lachey one time. It's true. <laughs> true. 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 You know, and she dated Nick Cannon too. Mm -hmm. like this person, you know, whatever. Let her have her moment. Like the weird fashion shows that she walked. Are you mm -hmm. fucking kidding me? So when I look at people, like sometimes I get these requests and I'm like, Tef, just fucking do it, dude. Shut the fuck up. Just fucking do it. Bite the fucking bullet. Put on the wig. I do it for the plot because you like when I'm really successful, I can tell the story of when I was a receptionist and no one gave a fuck or I was, mm -hmm. you know, getting yelled at for like getting the wrong coffee at mm -hmm. something. And that's like the empowering thing because everyone's been there. Mm -hmm. But you can ch like Kim Kardashian fucking chose. Yo. How many people to her face were like, you'll never be tr on Vogue. You'll never be treated like a real fashion so, icon. Some people are like, they told me that if I worked with her, like her glam team, if I worked with Kim Kardashian, it'd be the end of my career. Yo, if somebody told me that somebody said that about me, I would be devastated. Mm -hmm. I would be mm -hmm. devastated. I was like, oh, so I fuck one time on camera and I'm this fucking, <laughs> like you haven't fucked a couple people? <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Like I haven't been like, film this because you know it's, you're dehydrated and your abs are showing a little more. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Because he doesn't know you just pooped and but, you're feeling light And you're fuck. like, you're never going to get this again for the next like five, four days, maybe. <laughs> but turn it on. Let me see that red light. You know what I mean? Like shut the fuck up. But it's so crazy to me because... When I, Kim Kardashian, as a kid, she's on camera at 13 saying, I'm going to be famous. Mm -hmm. And there was a point in my life where I realized that I was treating the universe or whatever energy out there that, you know, whoever. I really believe that things happen when you will them, but also I was treating them like a boyfriend that I was expecting to read my mind. Ooh. So I started, so people at, when I was at receptionist, people were like, so what do you want to do? And I said, and I would look at them in the face and I'd be like, one day I'm going to be paid to be myself. One day I'm going to be paid to be myself. I'm going to be paid to be myself. I'm going to be paid to be myself. And I started saying it over and over and over again. And then people started hearing me. So they started giving me opportunities. Mm -hmm. Oh, I heard that's what you wanted. So here. So I was like this whole time, I thought it was going to on my lap. Mm -hmm. And all I had to do was claim it. Yeah. That's all I had to do. Not tweet it. Not think about it, not write in my journal about it and set it on fire and let it go on the full moon. Yeah. I had to fucking say it 
You know what I mean? Well, people say, oh, like keep your dreams like a secret, whatever. You don't want people fucking with that energy. But I'm the opposite. I feel like if you say it, you're holding yourself accountable mm -hmm. and you don't know who's going to hear it. And like you really have to own it yeah. to sit there in your space in front of someone. And I was doing like marketing, cold calling sales. Mm -hmm. And I wanted- Oh, cold calling sales. Oh, honey, I've been there, babe. My, my dad was Please like- Please don't hang up. If you want to be respected, you got to do cold calling sales. You'd be so tough respected. for the rest of your life. You mean a Zola prescription? If you <laughs> yeah. want a Zola Did prescription? Did I cry in the bathroom? It would take me 40 minutes to make the call. Like you had to like talk yourself into I've getting- I've been there. Her. Anyway, so I did all that shit. And then finally- I was selling cruises, by the way. Cruises? Selling cruises. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a fun breed. Yo. <laughs> like, do you fucking hate your life right now? You know you better? You Hating your life on the water, stuck with a bunch of people you don't want to be with. Literally. How do you feel about a buffet of only chicken fingers? <laughs> no, so How bad. do you feel about a creepy magician yeah. forcing you to laugh and then you're stuck? Yeah. So I decided mm. I want to video. I just like knew I wanted to do video. I didn't on know if it was going to be sports broadcasting or something else. And I just said it sports. to a bunch of people. I was, well, I was like an athlete. So I was like, I know sports. I'll do sports broadcasting. Amazing. And then some guy, random guy who I saw who started working for a random company, LinkedIn messaged me. It was like, hey, we're looking Not for a LinkedIn. video producer for this company, Betches. Oh, I've heard looking it. for a video producer. I was like the seventh hire making funny content for them. Never had made funny content. I was just very funny in the group chat. But I submitted a video. They were like, okay, you can freelance. And it's funny because I had the same thing. I wanted to be paid to be me. And then I got on reality TV and I was like, this is awesome. And then three years in, I was like, wait, I'm not, I'm not me right now because it's reality TV. And because you evolve. And you evolve. Exactly. I wasn't 26 single getting drunk on reality TV. I started to like you find myself. You were 29 myself. single getting drunk on reality exactly. TV. Exactly. <laughs> Peeing in hot tubs. And I was like, I've, I'm more important mm -hmm. now. But then you start finding your people and what you want. And then you get closer and closer to it. But it's an active process. Mm -hmm. It's not real. It's, no. it's very active. And your decisions you make every day add to where that is in that moment. Oh, shit. We're fucking hyped up. No, dude. I fucking. I, feel like, I love life. I feel like a basketball <laughs> coach right now. I'm about to fucking. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> you missed 100 percent of the shots you don't take. Okay. Um. Final game. We're ending with a game. Okay. Called the Seven Deadly Sins. I love it. What are you greedy about? I'm greedy about my space. Nobody comes to my apartment. I'm oh, with very their, greedy with their about subway that. clothes. No, no subway clothes allowed. No subway clothes. Oh, I just learned that the other day. I About sat on my friend's clothes? bed and they're like, what, did, why are you on the bed of my subway clothes? And I said, I don't make sandwiches. Oh, the other day somebody asked me if I was SAG and I said, no, I'm a cancer. That fucking killed me, dude. <laughs> that, I was like, nya, 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 nya. that's when I looked in the mirror and you're like, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> that's when all the confidence that you've built yourself up yeah. in 15 Let's rework years. it. We're on E. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, <laughs> No, I think it's my space. I feel like I'm very sensitive to... Like my quiet time, I, it took so long for me to like being alone in my house, mm -hmm. watching TV and not having to like, hello, my baby, anybody, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So my so when you come to my space, I'm very, like you are, like I I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. If not, I'm like, you, I'll meet you downstairs in the lobby. True. You know what I mean? But that, my space, I feel also for a long time, I was like really insecure about like I was depressed I like suffered from depression for a very long time so I was extremely messy and I still have a little PTSD from that like somebody's coming over even if my cleaning lady just fucking left mm -hmm. and everything's pristine I still have a little PTSD of like they're gonna see the real me they're gonna see that I'm not well you know what I mean so loaded I'm still working through loaded that. question because I also suffer mm -hmm. from from depression Depressy? and and a lot of messiness mm -hmm. But I tell myself it's because I'm a creative. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> a bohemian. I'm more of a bohemian girl. <laughs> bohemian. I, They're like, oh, dirty clothes is bohemian. And I'm like, absolutely. Yeah. Don't you see the beads uh, door? Uh, Were there any kind of main things you did to get out of the depression? Are you still like in and out? Mean things? Any any like main things? Oh, I yeah. I started. You're like, yeah, I started being mean to everyone. And yeah. there was really I was like, like, I was it was really calming for me. <laughs> it was therapeutic just yell at 2011. <laughs> um, I feel like it's the main thing that I did was mm, I started writing down skits and jokes. <gasps> I started writing them down. And um, for me, I know immediately what works. Like yeah. in my mind, I just know immediately what works. I can see the pacing, the timing of it, where it would end, where I would stop it. And I can write down like every single TikTok I've ever fucking done. I've written down. 
every single one. I mean, I don't look at it like a script afterwards, yeah. but I'm like, this is the premise. This is the two jokes. This yeah. is the angle. And this is why this is why it's shareable. Wow. I'm not stupid. You know what I mean? So it's me. And I'm trying, if I'm going to find a message and I have to compact it and I want you to laugh at it, that's, that's on purpose. You know what I mean? How, how do you structure your content each week? Um, I, when people ask me like, what's funny, how do you know what's funny? It's stuff that I find funny. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to tell, I don't want to ask people what's funny. So for me, if I wouldn't watch it, I'm not going to fucking do it. I don't care what's popular. Mm -hmm. Like if Kim Kardashian and Kanye West got back together, it's just not fucking interesting to me. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But if like Katy Perry being a triple fucking Scorpio, I'll talk about all fucking day. That's yeah. dark. Yeah. That's dark. Yeah. So I'll talk about that stuff. That's stuff that interests me. <laughs> and I learned that on the YouTube show because it was live and people could see when I was interested in something. And I was like, people are so sensitive to that because they've been in absorbing the internet for so fucking long. They know when someone doesn't like something. Mm. So I would talk about like, like Chrissy Teigen or something. It just wasn't into, like craving sick cookbook. I can't make cereal, babe. Like, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just like that stuff. I realize if you like it, the people that like you will like it. But if you don't like it, you're going to get people watching your video that expect that content and you don't even fucking like to talk about that. You know if what I mean? If it's not bringing you joy, how is it going to bring other people joy? I will know? talk shit on Tristan Thompson all fucking day though. <laughs> what? That was, I did the two. I go, how does this man find the time to play basketball? <laughs> you can see because he's so bad at it that he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. He's so bad at it. This I'm watching, I'm like, bro, put me in at this point. Yo. Oh literally. God. Oh my God. Um, I do think also your content, it's like, you know when the news cycle's going around, it's like, hey, you see the same message everywhere, but your content, like you're on your own fucking journey of where where you're exploring in celebrity culture. And I think that's why people start started being obsessed with you. Um, who are you envious of? Oh my God, nobody. I literally, the so when you are sad and when you are in the wrong place emotionally, it. I used to be super envious and jealous and hurt people, hurt people. I know that I wasn't a nice girl. That's why when people are like, you're my bestie. I'm like, no, no, no. You have to know that the only way I know how to love people is because I loved them so bad, so poorly at some point. Like I, mm. I was not a good friend at, at a point in my life. I think like 19, 20, I look back and I was a very, very sad girl. But I feel like looking at Converse, like so I'm always trying to have a conversation right what the fuck was I talking about what was the question oh not being envious not being envious so I look at people and I'm like I'm always trying to have a conversation I want the conversation to be my own and I feel like if it's a cheap joke or an obvious joke it's tacky I never want to do that so I'm like how can I take this conversation to where it relates back to me because that's the, the person I know the best so if it's about Tristan Thompson for example I'm going to talk about you know how I have cheated before that guilt of being like, I acted out of character because I was hurt by something that I haven't worked on yet. Mm -hmm. That's fucking jail that mm -hmm. locks from the inside. But I would, and I had all these thoughts or whatever about content, but I would saw people, and I was making this content, but I saw people who start at the same time as me doing more things, you know? And I'm impatient. I'm a very impatient person. I've learned to absorb it. So I actively would look in the mirror and I would say, I'm gonna make up a name, um, Stacy. Stacy works hard and she creates her content and she deserves this recognition. I would say it over and over again. She works really hard because content creation is a bitch and a half and she's putting it out there. You know what I mean? Um, so you have to acknowledge she works hard and she deserves recognition for her hard work. And you say that over and over again until you look at people and you're not envious of them anymore. You're fucking proud of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I'm also 31. Like, uh, if, if you're 22 and you're like, how can I get there? Bitch, I didn't get there for eight more years. Be a bitch for eight more years. You're fine. Yeah. Well, like, this please. is important. I'm 30. And like, I, your 20s are so hard. Your 20s are you just figuring your shit out. Yeah. You're, you're just trying to stay You're fuckable. making mistakes everywhere, trying to be fuckable. Yeah. And like, it's exhausting. And you're already fuckable. Yeah. <laughs> and then you look back. I'm like, bitch. Yeah. Like your <laughs> pH is like armor. You're fine. <laughs> Mine is a Kleenex now. If I think about a UTI, I'm like, where's the azo? Oh my God. Literally. Oh my God, that's my friend Paige. Um, okay, what are you gluttonous about? Oh my God, what am I You gluttonous? overindulge in. Attention. Yeah. I love attention. I love attention. I never want to get attention. Like, I don't want to be remembered for being a serial killer. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, attention in that way. Yeah. Like, um, but I, I love, I love being heard. I love being seen. I'm gluttonous with it, but I'm also... I'm, I'm also really good at, I feel, 
making sure that you know that if you want to be heard, we want to hear you, that your voice is vital. Like maybe we're missing that. So I feel like I'm gluttonous with attention because I want other people to also see asking for what you want isn't selfish. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking for, I'm asking for everything. I want everything. I want the EGOT. I want every award. I want every ribbon. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make me a bitch or arrogant, you know, um, because I'm a person and yep. I love the people around me, but I love you enough that I want you to see me doing it so you can do it too. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. Yes. Well, you want to, there's room for everybody. Inspire people and be there. Nothing feels better than a girl being like, oh, I got into podcasting because of you or like I did this because you that is like sick, incredible, because mm -hmm. that means you're you're beyond yourself. Mm -hmm. You're actually affecting people. Um, I also think having main character energy and wanting attention, wanting to be heard as a woman can be used against you a lot mm -hmm. where like I was in a company once and I started to do well. And there will be a lot of people that will be like, oh, she just wants attention. And it's like, well, first of all, we all want attention in this business. Um, and then it's kind of like we don't like her because she wants attention. Mm -hmm. And then you feel like, am I a bad person? Am I like that I want attention? Mm -hmm. And then you realize, oh, I was one of those people put on this earth to entertain. Like that's the, what I'm good at. That's what brings me joy. I'm going to tell you a Bible verse. Bible verse. I didn't mean to, I don't bring, mean to bring up religion, but it's very important to me. There are two kinds of people in the world, the ones that entertain and the ones who observe. Britney Jean Spears, circus. <laughs> I am sorry that that's not you. I don't know what you did in the past life. You're living your karma. And now your karma is that you get to watch me. Me. I'm be so happy. Obsessed with you. Period. <laughs> like, and I don't even look at it as a main character. I'm like, I don't even think about his main character. I'm like, mm -hmm. you're in my fucking movie. Well, also, I have this new thing where um I only have time for girls around me who I who have main character energy. Not that they're necessarily loud or want attention. Like we're here with Jade, who we work with. That's that bitch is running shit. Yeah. And I want to be surrounded by girls who are so driven and so creative or so smart that I am like, I, bra I brag. Like, you think I'm bad? These girls are bad. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I feel like it's important to be around people who are never, who get tired, but but also they're never tired. Like, I feel like when, when it comes to like, uh, like writing when it comes to like writing uh, like mm -hmm. skits and like things like that like mm -hmm. I could do it for fucking ever you know mm -hmm. what I mean and sometimes but but a bitch has to sleep but I'd like to be around people that are like sit down do it like you can fucking do this I hate when people say like Beyonce is the same 24 hours as you Beyonce has a staff <laughs> yeah. I have a tabby and a wi-fi connection <laughs> get out of here oh, wait, so a cat? Mar Margelina Jolie how do I not know about your cat oh my god she's is she has she been in the content recently? Yeah, she's always in the back. Okay, she's always in the I'm I have butter. She's my baby. That's a good baby name. She's I baby mean, butter. Oh, stop. Uh, you know, honestly, I just Chinatown right here. I, I got like, it. This is my girl. I do love dairy. I, yeah, I do love dairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dairy so this is making sense. I mean, fellow cat lady. Okay, um, ooh. When was the last time you experienced extreme wrath or anger? How's your anger? The last time I, ex oh yeah, I feel like if you're going to feel one emotion a lot, you're going to feel them all a lot. I always say like I'm an extremist in the way where I'm like, I'm never happy. I'm like ecstatic. I'm never mm. like, I'm never sad. I'm like, dad. Like, She's passionate. Yeah. I'm a passionate girl. Um, the last time I was really, really mad. The last time I was really, really mad. Furious. Um, I hate to bring up HelloFresh right now. <laughs> <laughs> when I looked, I for I I I have the I'm trying to hold myself accountable, so I have my checking balance sent to me every day. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, Bank of America, I'm not loyal to them. I just don't know how to change. <laughs> <laughs> Admin, 2006. Yes. So, um, so Bank of America texts me my balance every day. And for some reason that day, Bank of America fucked up and they sent it to me 10 minutes apart and it was $50 different. And I was just in bed and I didn't buy anything. And I saw that even though I'd canceled HelloFresh, that they had been charging me every fucking month for six years. What? Can you fucking believe the, the nerve? And I looked at them and I was like, you know how many times I got declined at Dunkin' Donuts for a hot coffee and a and a smile <laughs> and it was you the way that i went do, 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 i was blinded and i said where are the boxes going 
Where are the boxes going? And they couldn't figure it out. So that little fucking intern that fucked up six fucking years ago, if I see you, Kimberly, no, I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, did you get the money back? Of course I did. Oh, of course I did. That's a nice little paycheck -y. Of course I did. Oh, not for all six years, just the 50 bucks that one time. No, 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 I want all six years. I was literally, it's to the point where I look at people on the phone and I go, I understand. I literally get <laughs> furious. I understand that you are like, the world right now is understaffed and overworked. But $50 is a lot of fucking money. Yeah. But it does a lot of fucking money. That's a lot of fucking money. I don't care how rich you are. Bill Gates would be like, that's a lot of fucking money. Bill, it is a lot of fucking money. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking money. Like, I'm, I'm, I know they're not the Tinder swindler. Mm -hmm. But si but that was, not. She, was, she was looking a little Simon to me. I was looking a little Simon to me. <laughs> I recently thought I was that bitch who like discovered something wrong. Because I'm pretty cheap. I like to keep my finances in in check rich people are cheap i gotta be cheap and i saw That's why they're rich my my and health insurance is the whole thing and i like got off it because i got a job like a talk okay, show the best. and then i got fired and then okay. um then i'm sorry <laughs> and now i'm back on my own oscar mm -hmm. health mm -hmm. insurance mm -hmm. And I called them and I said, I'm back, <laughs> bitch is back, uh -huh. put me back on, whatever I had, they said we got you. And then I realized- My regular, I've my been, usual. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been charged $600 each month, mm -hmm. the last six months. Mm -hmm. And I literally was like so excited to be like, um, this is a mistake, I, I pay like $150 for health insurance, this is a mistake. So I call them and they're being very nice and I'm being nice, but I'm like, I, someone messed up and I'm not mad about it, but we can fix this right now. And they go, oh no, when you turn 30, it goes up by $500. And I was like, oh, what? I and didn't ask to be here. <laughs> I didn't ask to be here. I go, wait, wait. So even like, so you're saying 10 months ago, I like I was $500 cheaper. And then I just turned 30 and now I'm just a fuck. I'm Prince Philip. The body is born to decompose <laughs> and you're charging me for it. There's nothing I can do. And we had this awkward moment and he goes, and you're 30, right? And I was oh, like, yes. Why are they asking you like it's death becomes her? Yes, I'm 30. <laughs> I go, yeah, and I'm not a, a, I'm not in a fucking old people home. I'm the same, I have the same chance of getting hit by a car as, as 10 months ago. So we're sitting there and he's like, I, I feel like we're done here. And I was like, I we're feel like done. we are done here. <laughs> well, we just, nothing happened. Like he, I, I couldn't come up with anything. I was going to be like. I thought you meant we're done here. Like, <laughs> like I'm breaking up with you. And like, you think you're dumping me? And then like, I just felt like he was just like this fucking old ass 30 year old just trying to get her health insurance cheap in. But I was like, no one warns you in school about this shit. What happens when you turn 40? Why can't it be a gradual thing? Because this was a punch in my face. Literally, you don't even know how long I went without health insurance. My gynecologist was like, you got to stop putting garlic up there. I'm like, I don't know what else to fucking do. I don't know what else to I'll fucking do. I'll have health insurance, but I still hate the admin of going to the doctor. And I'm like, mom. And she's like, you got to grow up, girl. And I was like, but it's so confusing. What is like all the words of health insurance? I just did a TikTok about it where I'm like, I'm the baby. Okay. It's like the copayment plus the deductible. Plus, no one teaches you about deductibles. I was like, if the copay is 30, but I can't get it until it's $3,000. <laughs> Why am I paying eight hundred dollars plus my medicine? You go and plus my Hulu and my Fabletics and my HelloFresh is still charging me, and I don't know how to get out of it. Fabletics, that that shit too, you could get hooked. Yeah, Kate Hudson, fuck me. I re I love her. I love her. I forgive her, and Demi Lovato when I signed up, and Shoe Dazzle owned by Kim Kardashian. Fab. Letics twenty five. <laughs> What's the shoe one? There's like a shoe. It's Shoe Dazzle. Yeah, it's Shoe Fab Dazzle. And, but it's also but they changed it. It was Fab something. Yep. $25 a month for shoes from Forever Also, 20. I'm not trying to lose every brand deal I might potentially get in the future, but I, there is. You need me. You need me. We love all you of this stuff. Me. We love it. I we can make just, you better. We're I can very make you bad better. at the month to month mm -hmm. figuring it out. There is an app, though, where you can unsubscribe from everything, apparently. Apparently. Okay. When was the last time you were a sloth or like a lazy piece of shit? Didn't do anything all day? What day is it today? <laughs> Friday. Friday? For sure. For sure, Tuesday. I feel like I work on my, so I get up and then I look, see all my notifications and then I go to, on my phone, I go to the couch and I lie down and I put the blanket right up to here. Yes. Sometimes the computer gets hot. Yes. And I go like this. And then Margelina's right here. I'm yes. Like so, and then I'll be like, I want to, my favorite game is um, being next to the phone charger and letting my phone die regardless. It's my yes. favorite game. Yes. And then you have to go out and you feel like, I wish I was a time traveler. <laughs> it's like, you were home all day. What do you have 12%? Why are you in my fucking business, dude? 
So I feel like that's it. A- then you have to be flirty at the bar. Be like, does anyone have a charger? Can I just leave it here and please don't see my phone? You'd be doing me a big favor. You'd be doing me a big favor to give me the thing that I have at home that I had all day. You'd be doing a big favor. I feel like we have similar work ethics where I'm actually, you're like, I hate people being tired, but I'm tired all the time. Yeah. But I'm also not tired all the time. I can work. I want to work I will work be more. working. I will be horizontal. That is my prime. Like, I could work a 16-hour day and the next day being like, I wish it was 18. I love working. Yes. And I love the building of it. But, you know. Being, well, you need a Being in my sweatpants, eating chips off my chest like a little. Yes. Is yes. my favorite thing. A little you reptile. You can get two chips at one time. That's I mean. sick. Who needs college? Right. Um, well, <laughs> when was the doctors. last? <laughs> when was the last time you let your pride or your ego get in the way of something? Oh, I don't think. How's your ego? And it oh, she's re- good. She's healthy, but she's good. She's. Um, uh, I feel like my ego is to the point right now where like. I can feel triggered by something. Like if some if someone's like trying, you know what? Today, fuck it. Mm. This brand wanted me to do more then they ask for, and I feel like it's not their fault. They're not like a creative team. Mm-hmm. They're just asking me things. And people who don't know what the work that goes into it mm-hmm. say it like it's fucking easy. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, can you just reshoot this with a whole different thing? And we might want you to do it again, but we just want to see what it looks like. And you're like, absolutely not. Yeah, and I'm working with somebody who I love. And, um, and I started yelling. I was like, why the fuck would they want me to do that? That's fucking stupid. They'd want me to fucking do this bullshit. And it, I can't, it's going to be my fucking face. And I have to look at the fucking TikTok with 2000 views and three comments are on my mom. I hate that shit. And mm-hmm. doing all this stuff. And she looked at me and she was like, why are you screaming at me? And I was like, I'm not screaming at you. Mm-hmm. Like, you You're know, like, this is how New Yorkers speak. And then, <laughs> and then I had to like, look at myself and be like, this is a fun project. Yeah. They just don't understand. You can explain it or you could just say no. Yes. Relax, but I'm making my friend feel uncomfortable. Yes. And you realize like, oh, I this is my own experiences that I'm projecting onto yeah. this to be this pissed mm-hmm. when it's like, you know what? I also just sometimes saying I, I don't think that's going to work for me in a very calm way. I didn't realize was an option, but then you realize it actually is a very valid thing to respond to people. Yeah. And then I also think you used to do that shit for free. And you're getting paid to do it. You're getting paid to play really mm-hmm. is what it is. You're mm-hmm. getting paid to play and do something that comes easy to you. Let's say like you're about to get paid uh-huh. a couple grand to uh-huh. do a post. Uh-huh. And then I think, oh, that's what I used to make in two months at this company. I think the first time. You have to know the value of a dollar. Yeah. The first time I did something really big and they offered me my old salary for a post. Mm-hmm. I was like, I do this thing all the time where I go to 15 year old me mm-hmm. in my teen bedroom. Ooh, I love that. And she's like reading Teen Vogue and my clothes it. She's like, okay, I'm like, well, you should read it because it's going to end soon. But <laughs> so <laughs> you're never going to be in it, babe. Oh, throw I know. So she, clo- like, I'm looking at her, at her and I'm like, your um, highlights are yellow, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> but I tell her the things that we're doing and I picture her and I like jumping on the bed together and we're like fucking screaming. Mm-hmm. And that, is enough for me to snap out of ego and pride because Ooh. that little girl never gave up on me. She was dreaming about me my whole life. And I owe it to her when I visit her to say, I'm doing it. Because even 15 year old me, 22 year old me, 25 year old me, they've been dreaming about me and they never gave up because they knew that I could do it. So when I visit them and I'm like, dude, we're making so much cash. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and we're fucking meeting cool people and and you're able to invest in this stuff and your mom is so proud of you. That's why when it comes to like, I spit again. Well, we love it. She's expressive. Well, when you, when it comes to choosing, you're also choosing to make the yous that love you proud of you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And also, but I love that the you that love you is, yeah, you're Definitely. making yourself proud. Because yeah. so much is like, how are other people going to view me? How are other people going to view me? And I think that's ultimately how you deal with backlash of when you start getting popular, you start getting hate, is that you still love yourself and you're still that little girl. Mm-hmm. And Joe in Michigan being annoyed by you. Yeah, of course. But, gonna- and also the way that people look, know, see you, that's never been in your control. Even when like, uh, like when you were a teenager, that's never mm-hmm. been in your control. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. bitches are going to be bitches. So. When was the last time you lusted over someone besides Jason Momoa? Last time I lusted over somebody? Yeah. Who's your like celebrity crush or who are we manifesting? No one. I don't have a celebrity crush. I think it's Javier Bardem. (laughs) 
I don't have it, but <laughs> I, I think it's probably about them. But it's uh -huh. because I love people who like speak with their hands and they talk to you like they love what they are doing. What's your type? Life. Um, my type, I love, uh, God, I don't know. I like, I like people, I know this is crazy, to be hot and <laughs> mm, I feel like I like people, no, what it is to me, what's really fucking hot is people who are comfortable, like you don't have to babysit them and they can like run a room mm -hmm. and they can charm everybody and like you don't have to watch them and you don't have to worry about them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm also describing a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really about what I find hot. And so when I look at Javier Bardem and the way that he is in like, um, that what's that one film? Like Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Uh -huh. And he's so like, he, powerful and like that he knows himself and he knows what he wants and he knows what he doesn't and he's so like loving and caring he's also like a self-centered dick you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. so i feel like the things that we love and want mm -hmm. as women mm -hmm. men they're like this is awesome i get to fuck everybody you mm -hmm. know what i mean so it's hard so what i think of like somebody that i really oh my god i really have to work on my daddy issues i feel like I'm, i was like a dad figure and i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> So yeah, I think like I love feeling taken care of too, like yeah. but not in a sense that's like I, I don't want to be kept. I want I I like the feeling of like like if somebody fucks with you, I'm gonna fucking kill them. But now I'm describing a murder. Yeah, yeah, it's a thin line. I have a whole bit in my stand up about how we're attracted to narcissists mm -hmm, and like yeah. the guy at the party because mm -hmm. like that's what Disney princes were. Mm -hmm. Like you don't think Prince Charming mm -hmm. was like so punchable. Never had any consequences because they're so cute and pretty. And yes, charming. and then even the bees too, like super hot 6'4", where Obsessed kept the girl. Like, he's mm -hmm. so controlling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I do think that... Prince Adam. I hate myself. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a thin line. It's a thin line between a guy being a narcissist and everyone loving him, and it's like, what is he hiding? Versus someone who... I think you just want to find someone that you respect, who can carry themselves, and you respect them like you respect yourself. Right. I want an equal. I want an equal. Mm -hmm. I want somebody that is never jealous or condescending and is living their own lives and like mm -hmm. I know that in every relationship there's going to be codependency like some degree of it you know you want to keep it as low as possible but even like like me depending on you is a little bit of like depending you to be faithful to me that's a little co codependency right so there's always going to be a degree of that but I feel like I really want like like a, a person that's like I come home and it's like peaceful mm -hmm. like, I don't think I've ever been in a relationship where like I'm like I'm, I've always been like the sense of like peace and like we can do this, but no one's ever been my lighthouse. Ooh, yeah. You know what I mean? So. It's like the, they talk about the gardener and the flower and like someone gardens, someone flowers, but it's great when it could like switch off. Right. Like when you're being the flower, like the rock versus the, it's a lot of metaphors, but you right. get it. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so great. I love it. My final question to mm -hmm. you. Oh, one last thing. I was talking to a very successful woman yesterday who happens to be single. And she was like, I've been leveling up. And I'm like, hell yeah. And she goes, but the problem with leveling up is suddenly there's like a lot fewer people that you're going to date because you've leveled up. She's like, a standard. Exactly. It, like you said before, you let anyone in. But mm -hmm. then once you level up, it's like, oh, you have less people to choose from. And then you just focus on your shit more. Mm -hmm. And it just takes one. I mean, there's that quote from Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss that I think about all the time. Like, oh, I was hoping it was another Britney one, but continue. Oh, <laughs> oh, that, oh you're referring to the Bible. Oh, got it. Um, the, no, it's this quote that's like, and sometimes you'll play lonely games too because you'll be playing you against you. <gasps> Single player game. Oh, so Oh, The Places You'll Go, I always have a hard copy of it in my house. Always. Wow. Because you need to, because that part of like, oh, and you'll be alone sometimes. And it's just part of life or whatever. Mm -hmm. But nobody told me that if you like yourself, it's so much more, it's easy for people to hate you and to be jealous of you or like to send you negativity. And the people who like love, love themselves are not like threatened by that in a way. Like a yes. person that like really is like, that makes me uncomfortable or this is my boundary or like whatever, whatever. Nobody told me that that was going to be like, three or four dudes <laughs> like, <laughs> in the world three or four dudes you know what I mean three and a uh, half yeah. just three and a half one of them you know has halitosis because the yes. numbers you know yes mm -hmm. um final question Dímelo. I mean what tell me. <laughs> Miami. oh I was into it okay. we're in Miami mm -hmm. today what advice would you give to the little devils who are listening on what you do when you're in hell when you're in your darkest what do you do to cope with your hell it's not forever 
like um everything is is it cyclical mm-hmm. everything is in a circle everything is everything is spherical everything is gonna change <laughs> round <laughs> it's i feel like when you are young you feel like everything it's because of sat ptsd i, I believe because mm. of like this every year in high school counts mm-hmm. every year counts like when you're an intern everything you do counts and it's mm-hmm. like you're hit all the time with this like like sit up straight and if you fuck up you could fuck up for life right yeah and but my mom has a saying like life is long right so meaning if you make a decision and it could impact you for life you have to live with that because life is long but also if you if if you're in a bad place or you fuck up life is long if mm-hmm. nothing nothing is forever mm-hmm. like no if lo- if the most wonderful things in the world don't even last forever like my ph mm-hmm. if the one <laughs> most wonderful things in the world how could something so negative and not for you you know what i mean Sorry, rest in peace to your ph refresh i'm an ambassador and that shit oh hell yeah that shit works i fucking love this interview so much Taffy where can people follow you listen to you watch you give me the goods my address is <laughs> <laughs> my social uh, I'm on hello Taffy I uh, know I'm on Instagram as hello Taffy mm-hmm. I'm on Twitter as hello Taffy and I'm on tweets? yeah I guess the <laughs> memes are on there dude uh-huh. and then I'm also on um TikTok I guess sometimes subtle it's subtle but it's beautiful go follow her thank you so much for coming to hell today guys and we'll talk to you later love you bye bye Brittany.